Hello everyone, it's Tom. Today in this video we are going to look at the new PTR patch, the 2.6.8 for season 20. It will going to live at February 6 and this is going to be a two week PTR probably. It brings three new class sets and the new season team, the Forbidden Archives. Two buffs will be active to help you on your PTR journey. Increase the legendary drop rate and double blood shard drops. Now let's see these patch notes together. There are some general modifications, for example, the infernal machines and organs are now subject to vacuum pickup. It's a little quality of life change. Crafting plants from Bounty Cash are now guaranteed to drop unless all plants have been learned. Finally, you don't have to do too much bounties for Crafton Crimson plants at early stage at any seasons. Another important thing is the new season team for season 20. This is the Forbidden Archives. For the duration of season 20, all slots in the Canaids cube will be able to select legendary powers from weapon, armor or jewelry. This means you could select 3 armor powers or 3 weapon powers or 3 jewelry powers or any other combination. The end of the season 20, everything will go back to normal with Canaids cube. I think it's huge. Every build which was used so far will be changed. Let's take an example. Everybody knows the Legacy of Dreams Crusader Blessed Shield build. In this you couldn't use the Zodiac Ring and this build need a lot of cooldown reduction. Thanks to this change you are able to use another weapon in the cube like the Master Schmidt Reaver which help you with your cooldown reduction. This will open up many possibilities. The mentioned axe was just one example. As for the Crusader class, the animation for Haven's Fury, Fires of Haven Rune can no longer be cancelled early. Everyone knew this was coming. And the wizard with bazooka nerf, thanks to Mental of Channeling Revision. But it also affects other builds, like Legacy of Dreams Rapid Fire Demon Hunter. Echet Sigil and Ditwish changes will change other channeling wizard builds. Now let's check the three new class sets. As for the barb, the Horde of the Night is Savages. In the last season we got a lot of barb things, so this is kinda surprised me, but this is good. So the two piece, double the effectiveness of all shouts, feared enemies take double damage. Four piece, each stack of frenzy reduces damage taken by 5%. Six piece, frenzy deals 1000% increased damage per stack. There is two items which support this set. First, the Undisputed Champion Belt. Frenzy gains the effect of every rune and the new thing is, deals an increase in damage up to 400%. Lastly, the Bastion's Revered Two Hand Axe. Frenzy no stack up to 10 times and hits an additional time per attack. Each additional hit will chain to any enemies within 15 yards and the damage is split between all affected enemies. Thanks to 10 stack we have 50% damage reduction and 10,000% increase at damage. To be honest I wonder how it will perform in practice. For which doctor? The Mundungus Regalia. 2 piece. Big Bad Voodoo now follows you and lasts twice as long. 4 piece. Gain 50% damage reduction for 30 seconds when you enter the spirit realm. 6 piece. The spirit barrage will increase the damage equal to 50 times your mana regeneration per second. This is pretty interesting. This will be a CDR build with possible support with Zodiac Ring. The other is kinda new. To maximize the 6 piece bonus to increase spirit barrage damage you need mana regeneration. The next items support this set. The Barber, nothing new, just increase the damage multiplier up to 500%. The next is the Gazing Demise. Spirit Barrage gains the Phantasm rune. Each active Phantasm lasts twice as long. And this item increases the damage of Spirit Barrage up to 150% and also increases the attack rate from Spectres. And lastly the new wizard class set the Typhoon's Wheel. 2 piece, double the duration of Hydra and increase the number of heads on multi-headed Hydra by 2. 4 piece, Damage taken is reduced by 8% for each Hydra head alive, as long as there is one available. Each time you take damage, a Hydra head dies. 6 piece, 
Hydra deal 1000% increased damage for each Hydra head alive. The next two items will support this set. Firstly, the Serpent Sparker. You may have one extra Hydra active at a time, and they deal up to 600% increased damage. Thanks to this, your possible damage reduction will be 80% and your damage will be higher with 10,000%. One important thing, you have to keep it up this bar. Because each time you take damage, you will lose damage and damage reduction. So you have to use some items with support shield like Asnagard Blood Dacers. The Magis Wizard Helm. Hydra, cast for Snoa and deal 600% increased damage. I think we covered everything. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.